hi guys and how you all doing in today's video i want to show you all how to download the 1688 app on your smartphone so if you have an ios or you have an android phone the process is the same i want you all to note that 1688 is not on your play store and it is not on your ios store it is a chinese app it is not a google app okay so you cannot find them on play store or ios store so there is a method from which you can use to install this app on your phone and that's what i will be sharing with you in this video so if you're into mini partition from china then you need to watch to the end of this video right before i go into it my name is only Omura. if you just see my face for the first time Thank you for stopping by here in this channel i create content around starting and growing an online business i go in depth with mini importation affiliate marketing drop shipping and different ways of earning sustainable income from the online space now in this video we are focusing on installing the 1688 app because you can use this app to search for different products to import from china in fact it is so so easy to use the app i prefer the app the only challenge that most people are having with this app is that it is in china but you can always translate it to english and you use it for your search and also place your order and everything that has to do with importing from china without any waste of time let me take you down my phone screen and show you exactly how you can install this app onto your smartphone let's dive straight into it just as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the 1688 app is not on the play store neither is it on the ios store so you cannot install it from either of the store in order to install the 1688 app you need to access it from the website so what you need to do at this point is go to a browser any browser of your choice but personally i prefer using chrome the chrome browser so that it will be easy for me to translate so as soon as you get to your browser just go ahead and type 1688.com once you type it it will bring you here right this is the interface you will see now the first thing i want you to take note of is this orange bar you see at the top of this interface let me draw a line to it did you see that orange bar at the top there now that's the prompt for you to install the 1688 app that's an automatic prompt for you to go ahead and install the 1688 app if you have it you might not see that prompt up there but let's say you don't have the 1688 app this is like the 1688 logo and the install button beside it in order to install the app just click on this part you see me circle did you see that right up i circled there that's just like the download icon right so go ahead right now and click on it okay now this is the 1688 app you just need to go ahead and click on install click on the orange bar at the bottom of your screen let me circle it this particular portion i circle go ahead and click on it as you can see from the top there it says downloading files right so we'll just wait for it to download completely and then we can install so you all can see that the alibaba android that's a 1688 app is still downloading so we'll just wait for it to complete this process and then i'll show you all the app so guys as you all can see our app is done downloading i'll just go ahead and click on it right now it says do you want to install this app you click on install and then just wait for the process now finally app installed you just go ahead and click on open when you're opening the 1688 app for the very first time you will see this pop up this is just like the terms and condition you need to agree or disagree right now you can translate this the first one which is the orange bar says agree or the one beneath it is disagree so if you want to actually use the app you have no option than to go ahead and click on agree so when you click on agree it will just load up for you you can cancel this now you have the 1688 app installed on your phone now one very good thing about this app is that you have everything 
at the tip of your finger for one you can see the search bar here where you can search for anything at all let's say you're searching for bags let's say you're searching for bag you just type bags and then you search when you get this thing you always cancel now before i can search for anything i need to do what i need to register or log into my 1688 app now if you've not signed up or you don't have a 1688 account but you have a taobao account or an alipay account you can use either of these two to log into your 1688 i want you all to know at this point that 1688 taobao and alipay they are all interconnected so you can create an account on one of these apps and then use the details to always log into the other hope this makes sense so i already have a taobao account as well as an alipay account so i'll use either of them to log into my 1688 app so let me click on the first one which is the orange bar there and it is the taobao details so So we're just waiting for it to load now it's prompting me to log in with my taobao details so i'll go ahead and click on the orange bar again you can always translate it if you wish to now i have successfully logged into my 1688 app using my taobao account details now remember we search for bags here you can see different types, different qualities of bags, right? It is very, very easy and straightforward when you are using the app compared to when you're using the web browser. Now we also have the camera icon. You know, if you're using the browser on your phone, you need to change to a desktop site and all of those before you see this camera option. But on the app here, you have the camera option staring right into your face. You don't need to stress yourself to get this particular icon. So that's the camera icon at the top there. You can just click on it and search for anything. Let's say you have an image already saved on your phone. You can click on the camera icon and then search for that particular image. You click on allow. As you can see from here, it takes me straight onto my gallery and I have some jewelry here. So I'll just go ahead and click on anyone. So we'll use it as an example, right? let's see what the search result will look like so you can see the search result is giving us different suppliers of that same jewelry that is why it is very very important for you to always use the camera icon if you already have the picture of the product you want to search for or you want to order the camera icon will actually do you more good because when you use it you see alternative or different suppliers so you can always compare their prices compare the quality of their product and all of those so that is it about installing the 1688 app trust you've gotten value from this video in the subsequent ones i will show you how to translate because you can already see that everything here is in chinese although i have a video already okay that explains how to translate i'll leave the video up and also in the description section but i am still going to make a more updated video about translating the 1688 app so do well to subscribe and always turn on your bell icon so that whenever i do upload a new video you will definitely be among the first to get notified i'll see you all again in the next one bye for now